Okay, we're going to put the uh, tail servo onto the T-Rex. Uh, we'll use a, a Futaba S9650 digital servo, nice fast servo for the tail. So what we'll do, we've got everything else to set up. So we need to get the servo. Um, quite a larger servo than the usual, the usual size. Right, what we do is we put the rubber inserts in, that's will take any shock and absorb any shock on the servo and some little brass spacer grommets and we insert them in and that'll allow it a nice tight fix without restricting the servo movement. Okay, right next the servo push rod needs to be nice and free and straight, straight from the tail follow the, the tail boom up and with the servo head facing forward we'll fix it onto the uh, fixings. I use a, a little bit of thread lock on the back of things before finally tighten them up. This allows it to uh, stop any becoming loose from vibration, etc. And just drop a little bit in the in the holes, and then finally tighten up. Just a little dab, a little bit will do you, not too much. Okay, right. Position the servo. The servo arm needs to be the same length from the side, so it's a nice straight throw. So you need a, quite a long uh, servo arm for this, and get one that matches the uh, the distance quite well. This is the end hole on the uh, cross servo arm. I'm just going to turn the uh, the ring so it's a nice even throw. There's no snagging or uh, binding on it. Right, that's not too bad there. Remember you're setting up your servo arm once a bit 90 degrees, you may have to take it back off and reset it on the servo once you have the electronics set up. But for now we're just going to see what kind of throw we've got. Just needs to ease this back a little bit. Really you need the servo throw to equal the full maximum throw on the servo rod. So you get a nice even uh, movement on the tail. Take the ball joint in. The holes on this servo arm don't really need drilling, you just need tapping it. But remember, keep a nice even pressure on it so you don't actually loosen or drill the hole out. You need to be fixing the uh, screw thread into the uh, plastic. And there we go. And clip the, uh, the ring onto the ball joint. So, click, whoops, nearly. So there we have a nice even throw, no binding. I'm not going to uh, fasten that up. Awkward in position. Use a bit of thread lock on the screws to stop any loosen, loosening due to vibration and stuff. So there we have it, the tail servo mounted. Nice straight throw, nice and even. Ready for the next step. <laughs> 